Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Gloomgrave. This game seemed right up my alley. I'm a huge fan of games uh, like um, Grimrock, <laughs> The Legend of Grimrock. I'm a real, a huge fan of games which, you know, that names I can't remember. Um, but anyway, this game felt a little bit Grimrocky to me, so I, I figured I'd give it a go. Got your classic dungeon crawl. Hold left mouse button to free look. Oh, that's a little bit nause nausea inducing. I will refrain from doing that. Click left mouse to interact. We, we stab in boxes. That's the soundtrack. I thought it was actually like um, triggering some kind of switch. Can take this cheese. I will take this cheese. Oh, we have our first monster. Um, trying to figure out the best way to approach. If I approach forward, I'm just going to get attacked, right? Well, I got attacked. Let's see if we can't uh, recover with some cheese. You feel completely full. Yeah? Just making sure it's it isn't moldy. Okay, so... Eating cheese does recover our health. Ouch. Some oh that's that was a trap, in fact. Wow, that that hurts. Uh you can absorb up to two points of damage. You may need these. Do you really want to touch a slime with your bare hands? Oh, those are gloves. Why did I read those gloves? Okay, so let's eat some more cheese. Um yeah, you take a lot of damage right away, don't you? Did I not seriously pick that up? I thought I did. Plus zero cloak of agility. Um, so this is a very minor critique, but the controls are not as responsive as you would like. You would you would like to just kind of like hit the button and, and kind of zoom around. Um, but there's a slight delay b between each tap. Which I'm sure is there for good reason, maybe to keep us safe even. But uh, it does it does mean you have to do a little bit of extra tapping sometimes. I'm I think it does a bit to slow the game down. Can I interact with this moss? I'm wondering if there are like Grimrock esque secrets occasionally. Choose a blessing. Let's take um, speed. Increased agility. Uh, I am assuming that may uh, help us to move first. There's our ladder down. Wondering uh, if if we do we have a map? We do have a map. Okay, so I want to fully explore the zone before I move on all right kind of wish you could just you just pick up items that uh, are on the ground I don't know how to like is there I wonder if there's a way to wait oh maybe this maybe this button in the bottom left corner that looks suspiciously like a wait button level up select the perk mysterious egg greater chance for monsters to drop loot Critical hits restore some health. These are these are pretty cool. Higher chance to land a critical hit. Um, sure. Let's take a higher chance for a critical hit. Maybe we'll get some critical hit effects later. So yeah, I'm thinking. Oh, he shoots arrows, huh? All right, that that worked out well that time. I want to I want to fully explore the floor. I don't know. Some some games are cool about you exploring and other games are not. Some games are like, yeah, you want to do as much as possible. Um you know, before you leave. And in other games are like, the less you do, the better. Um <laughs> So, we have some more cl plus 1 gloves. We have a helmet of accuracy. We have a cloak of agility. I don't know if it's a, you know, better than the cloak we were wearing. Yes, it is. And an unidentified potion, which will come in handy moments before I die. I'm sure. 
So let's uh, hit this. Let's see. Um, there's still a bit more left to explore. I don't want to step on that. It's probably a trap. Yeah, I, I kind of wish there was a bit more flow to um, how you move around. It's a little, little rigid right now. So that is a wait button. That lets us, um, you know, wait strategically. Nothing in that crate. But sometimes combat is its own reward. Uh, seems that we are hungry, so we should eat some food. Turkey leg. I'll eat it. Well, hmm. Yeah, I guess I will eat it. Okay, so we have hunger management. We gotta, we gotta eat in this game. It's not just do it for the sake of health. You gotta eat. So there's something. I don't know what it is. Oh, there's another something. Oh. I guess I only had the one key, so I used it. So I have key management stuff. This looks like a hidden space of some sort. No? No, okay. Um, also kind of wish I could move on the map. You know, like I don't need um, teleportation. I don't need to fast travel or anything like that. But uh, just being able to move on the map would be helpful to me who are not um, spatially inclined. You know what I mean? All right, so let's leave, but let me have a, oh, this is a scroll of healing. No, we don't want to do anything with it. Let's continue to the next floor. Ooh, we have a new weapon. Again, I kind of just wish it would pick up the thing. All right, uh, plus two war axe. You won't be chopping down trees with it. Well, let's, let's see, maybe it might be better. I don't know what these, um, I don't know what those, those, indications are might mean that the the weapon is not good for us I don't know might mean that the item is cursed we have a new blessing let's take uh, increased strength this time what is this increased accuracy now let's take fighter I'm doing well by fight okay I was wondering if this was a creature or something but it was in fact a chest I kind of appreciate how things like in a distance look like they're kind of shaded the look of this game is really nice it's oh stepped on a trap it's a uh, very simple obviously but um, you know it works I don't need I don't necessarily need games to look um, more complex more complex than this or have higher fidelity they just need to, you know, have a style. Okay, I was wondering if he was gonna, which way he was gonna move that. That skeleton. Kind of keep expecting to see maybe like a um, stone in the wall that serves as a as a hidden switch or something. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um, let's drink a potion. Don't know what that did. Oh, it's extra health regeneration. Nice. That was getting pretty close to death there. And I'm still not out of the woods because I keep missing this guy. We got a we got a potion for our trouble. And a tomato. We'll see if that weapon is uh, maybe better than the one I'm currently using. That's a plus one war axe. This is a plus two war axe. So we're better off with this war axe. Oh, very different environment we got here. We got some some tomatoes. That'll be good when we when we get hungry, I'm sure. Kind of wouldn't mind maybe a bit more um I don't know, exploration and variety cuz like, you know, hit, hit, secret doors are kind of a staple of this kind of game. Um and right now it feels like very just static combat now i mean this game is it in early access i should check these things before i start playing shouldn't i it is in early access and it is in fact only five dollars so it could be that uh you know i should not expect like a lot from this kind of game and you know what this is this is fine for five dollars still i i you know 
I, I think the game would benefit from a little bit of uh, spice, a little, little bit of unexpected variety, you know, surprises here and there. Just please, no more mimics. I feel like mimics have been played out really, really badly. Like, <laughs> Lucky scarf critical hits make you invisible for a short period. That's kind of nice. Shop prices are reduced. Well, I haven't encountered a shop yet. So let's do critical hits make me invisible since I have increased crit chance. And I will eat a tomato. Oh, they are apples. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the next floor. Oh, we have a shield. Plus four tower shield. Can't equip that. Requires 11 strength to use effectively. Okay. Um, maybe we'll find ourselves a uh, another fountain. Wouldn't mind find. Oh, I was about to say a store. We have 17 coins. Maybe some better armor would be nice. Cloak of accuracy, ring of resist poison, ring of agility. Let's grab that. We don't have any rings. New customer. Uh, let's pick up a couple of, well, I guess I'll pick up one key. Plus two plate armor might be nice. And uh, I don't know, plus two long sword. Or maybe I'll just come back later. Um, I, I bet I can't, uh, can absorb up to 10 pounds of damage, requires 10 strength to use effectively. Okay, that's fine. I'm, uh, I feel like there's a bit of, a uh, brogue in this game. I know it's, it's very definitely inspired by, uh, traditional roguelikes, but also it just feels a little bit like brogue. So, um, I definitely can't sell anything to this lad, right? Okay. That's okay. I'm not. I'm not expecting something like that. That's a, that's a choice, you know. That's a chosen mechanic. We have almost a full kit now. I, I will use that tower uh, shield. We're definitely taking less damage on our hits now. We're getting hungry again. Oh, we got another key. Oh, I should have checked those uh, those chests also. I I critted. I noticed I went invisible invisible there for a moment. Oh, another potion. So yeah, I mean, yeah, what can I what can I say about this? It is um, fine. It's. Nothing, uh, nothing new necessarily or exciting, but I mean, you know, it's all all in the execution, right? It doesn't matter if you've seen this kind of game a uh, hundred times before. Is this one good? Um, and I think a question that uh, I'm seeing, you know, I've seen this online, and I think it's an interesting and valid question to ask is, uh, you know, when you're approached with a, a game, you should ask yourself, uh, why would I play this game over others like it and you know so the question is like are there other games like this there are many 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 games like this um in a wide variety of traditional to uh you know less conventional this one is a bit more conventional and so the question is is, is it doing anything new um so far i can't really see that it is I don't know, I don't know unnecessarily, ouch, why, <laughs> why I would uh, necessarily play this over, uh, say, others like it. Now, what, what games are there like it? I'm not gonna, like, I, I, like, I'm not saying this game is bad, and I'm not gonna recommend other games like it, that would just seem rude. Um, I guess I'm just kind of, like, speaking my, you know, saying how I feel right about it right now, which is, I, I don't feel necessarily inspired, which I think is fair. Um, and I'm not really seeing anything I haven't seen before. We got another key. 
But am I am I having fun? I don't know yet. I'm 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 clicking on monsters. I like some of the skills, and by skills I mean like kind of passive upgrades of like you get to do more of this and this happens when you crit. I will say I've said this before, and this is not the game's fault, but critic uh, criticals are like my least favorite form of progression, and it seems to be something that always comes up. And it just feels like a gamble. I'd rather have um, kind of like stacking passives that uh, are maybe more interesting. Okay, you are starving. Okay, I'll eat another apple. It looks like I'm also, I'm still hungry. We have new music. Maybe we'll have some new enemies as well. We do, in fact, have new enemies. What is this? I can't, apparently cannot find out what that is. Maybe it's like blindness? Level up. Um, some not blocked damage will be reflected. More arrows spawned per bundle. More XP gained from enemies. That sounds like just an easy take. It's one of those things you're gonna hope you get that early in the game as opposed to later. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this pile of stuff, I, since I can't sell it. Um, really, I really don't know what I'm... Oh, okay. Let's let's take some extra strength, maybe? How much strength do I have now? I can't, it's hard to tell. Honestly, I, I don't know. Requires eight strength. I feel like I don't have a lot of strength. I feel like I only have six strength. So maybe I'm building this character very badly right now. That would be pretty bad if I <laughs> was talking about how how like there isn't a lot of depth in this game and I'm also just like playing it really badly. Another scroll. It doesn't seem to be hurting my like ability too much right now. Take some boots. Can we use these boots? We can. I think... I wish uh, I would like it... You know, I know, again, I know, again, can't really expect too much from this, but it would like... It would be nice if it compared items when you are looking at one. Maybe I should have bought a bow since uh, I am playing a rogue. I was supposed to probably build on agility, and I didn't at all. <laughs> Lots of chests in this uh, on this floor. Not a lot of keys. Keep missing. Just keep missing. Um, let's see. Get some potions. I don't know what that does. Oh, it gives me added defense. I think. Okay. Ooh, another key. We have two, um... Oh, I I'm gonna die unless I take another potion, probably. Oh, I've been poisoned. And I'm dead. Alright. The eternal darkness consumes you. Slain by poison. Time survived. Oh, uh, ignore that. I had to stop uh, multiple times. It was only like an 18 minute run. I can share this. That's a nice feature. Can I play as someone different? Let's try the ranger. And I'll try and build better this time. Okay. Shooting from afar is nice. It looks like I punch with the the bow and arrow, which is funny to me. Um, we have a cloak of agility, which is nice. I'm just going to go ahead and start dropping things this time, since I can't seem to do anything with stuff, um, you know, post their relevancy. Oh, we have an, a lad behind us. The, the thing we're going to have to worry about, I guess, with the ranger is um, ammo. Scarcity, like there's, I don't really feel like there was a lot of ammo 
that I came across. Although now that I'm a ranger, it seems like I'm finding it everywhere. I do appreciate that missed shots um, land on the ground. That's a feature I've always really appreciated when, when it's available. Okay, we need some food pretty soon. I, it, seem, it seems to me I have a bit of regeneration. So maybe there's a, you know, we could just like wait until we're fully healed. Got some armor. Having any, oh, requires five strength. We do have five strength. So, okay, the, yeah, I was, I was building that character like really badly. All right, so let's wait a bunch of turns so that we are fully healed. Wonder if we can, can we hold it down? It looks like we can hold it down. Another quality of life feature, um, which, you know, has been available in other games like this, is just a, a button that's like hold until rested. I, not a criticism. I know, again, this is an early access. I'm, you know, just, just throwing it out there. Um, ooh, nice. Turkey leg. Nothing I love more than dungeon box turkey leg. Level up. Some blocks damage will be reflected. Fully heal yourself. That's not super useful. Saves you from death once. Uh, I guess shield of reflection sounds pretty good. Cheese. Dungeon cheese. Ooh, boots. Boots of accuracy. Nice. Excellent. So the question is, am I going... Ow. Am I going to want to take things like uh, strength when I'm uh, a ranger? You know, like, it feels like accuracy, agility, uh, those are things that are going to be more important. Accuracy, I guess, will probably be important as any class because I imagine you can still miss with uh, an axe. You can miss with my axe and my bow. Um, all right, so we are we are good for this floor. Our dude is getting kind of hungry, but that's okay. He can stay hungry for all I care. You know, we're all a little hungry in this economy. You gotta do what I do, ranger, and appease the algorithm, whatever that means. Okay, this guy is not aware of our presence, so he's not miss. There we go. It, it, smacking someone with a bow is surprisingly ineffective. More ammo. Wouldn't mind seeing uh, maybe just on the interface uh, how much ammo you have. So you can count your shots a bit better. Ooh. Oh, we almost have enough for a really nice bow. Let's see if we can't buy that before we're done here. Uh, just want to check that there's no one over there. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Those guys tend to want to split, but that one didn't. I just need two more coins and then I can buy a really nice bow. So my guess is that I'm going to find one more coin and then no more <laughs> and have to buy maybe something else that is not a nice bow. At least we're finding lots of ammo. Oh, well, there's just a nice bow hanging out right there. Maybe this will be... Uh, it's, like, very much... Okay, it is slightly better, I guess. Not, uh, not really the upgrade we were looking for. Can we... Oh, we can increase our accuracy or agility. Let's do our accuracy. I'd rather hit for low damage than miss for high damage. So this is going to require a lot of strength, which we don't have. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and drop it on the ground. Stop missing. Nice. Higher chance to land a crit. More XP gain from enemies. Critical hits knock enemies back. Let's just get more XP. Although I got that last time and it didn't, I don't even think it paid off once, maybe. Ooh, okay, we just got a bunch of money. So we can go and buy that better bow now. Oh, wouldn't it be the worst if I bought it and it turns out I actually don't have enough agility for it? That would be kind of the worst. Our dude is starving. We'll have to eat some dungeon cheese pretty soon. Uh, okay, wait. Oh, it's a long way back to the shop. Gotta go, gotta go the long way around. All right, plus three hunter's bow of freezing. Excellent. Absolutely, we want that. There's uh, some good stuff here, but I would definitely rather take just a really good bow. Um, requires five strength to be to use effectively. Wow. All right, well, we got it. We have some gloves as well. Um, is there anything? Oh, and a buckler of agility. Oh, excellent. Oh, but we just took a two-handed bow, so now we can't use it. Well, that's a bummer. All right, well, still, I think I'd rather have the cool bow of freezing. Oh, press the wrong button. Let's uh, eat some food. Uh, where am I going? This way. More coinage. More helmage. Um, okay, I mean, there's no downside to wearing that. Ooh, nice. I can see that freezing effect coming into play. That's pretty satisfying, honestly. Okay, there's nothing in this room except a trap I will for sure step on by accident. bow does pretty good damage. I think uh, the next thing I'll take is maybe higher agility when I when I find another thing. It's surprising to me, so like, you take a perk when you level up, um, but your attributes are not affected by your level. They're more affected by these shrines that you randomly... Oh, where did you come from? That you, you find in the dungeon? It's an interesting way of doing things, and I mean it definitely encourages exploration. I definitely want to do more exploring. We got, we're finding some really good equipment this time. Uh, okay. Looks like there's nothing for us over here. It's a dead end. Our dude is hungry again, but too bad. Turns out we had a key. I don't remember picking one up, but probably did happen. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that uh, enemies procced traps. That's interesting. Okay. As promised, increased agility. Is there... Wow, there's, this is another dead end. But, I mean, there was the statue or the, the whatever you want to call it. So, not quite a... Useless dead end. Cheese. Yes. Level up. So I guess we do gain some more XP. Soul jar saves you from death once. Critical hits restore some health. Sure. So knowing that traps are uh, proc when enemies. Um, plus three agility. That's it. We, we same same cloak um, makes you want to maybe try and manipulate the the positioning a bit to uh, 
First of all, proc off traps. I don't know if maybe you can get hurt by traps after they've already gone off. Oh, there's nothing in here but good stuff. I keep thinking I need to interact with the ladder instead of just moving onto it. So I think I'm making better progress with the ranger than I was with the... Ooh. With the uh, rogue. So if they're frozen, that means it would be it benefits me to take a step back and shoot them because I'm going to do more damage from a ranged attack than I am. Oh, see that that enemy procked off the uh, the trap. I'm going to do more damage from a range attack than I am from a melee attack. That's just always going to be true. But interesting to me that uh, there's no no point in backing up here. Interesting to me that uh, the freezing effect works on a melee hit. We're going to want to eat some food. There's our statue. Let's do agility again. I'll do accuracy next. That, uh, that was that reflection thing happening. And there it is again, nice. Oof, did not mean to do that. Shield. Shop. What do we need? We could use a ring and... Well, we can't use a shield because we're using a two-handed weapon. But we could use... I just looked at it, a ring. A ring. Ring of strength or ring of accuracy. I feel like a ring of accuracy would do us quite well. And maybe a cloak of agility if we have enough before the end of the level. Doubt we will, but you never know. Maybe. Nice. A couple of good hits. <clears throat> Maybe I should buy some ammo as well. Oh, I might actually have enough now. We do have enough for a, cl a cloak of plus two agility. Where are they? Oh, they're in here. We can buy some ammo. So I would like to do that. Um, so if we get enough for that, which I know is asking a lot considering we got enough for two really good items. But if we do, then I will certainly buy some ammo. Because, you know, our best asset is definitely our ranged attacks. Wait, what? Can I not? I can't pick it. I can't pick it up. Start dropping some of this stuff, maybe. I can. Yeah, we, we actually hit the item cap. We have 32 arrows, so maybe I am a little bit paranoid about the ammo situation. That was awesome. Uh, more loot on each depth. Critical hits knock enemies back. Yeah, let's take, uh, let's double down on critical hits. Why not? Um, all right. So, am I having fun now? Sure. I think I am. This is, this is compelling. Oh, yeah, that critical hit knocked them back. These enemies are not, they're, they're not even getting hits on me anymore. Um, you know, this isn't as deep as games other games I've played like it but I mean I think that is of course intentional um, I mean it's 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 a basic version of this and I think that that is fine not everyone is looking for uh, like a super in-depth uh, dungeon crawler roguelike that you need to read an entire you know book on in order to, to play or even succeed at. Um, so, there we go. Uh, I think that this is a, a completely reasonable take on this kind of experience. Um, 
And you know what? Major points for not having uh, meta progression, although it's in early access, so it wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't get meta progression before the game comes out of early access. I'm sorry if that sounds like it's unfair to say that since it's, you know, completely um, th uh, theory, like it's not predicated on anything, but it's just my cynical take on like you know, basically every single game is going to have meta progression and it's always going to be a bummer to me. Um, I guess it does technically have meta progression because I'm unlocking classes, but that to me is totally reasonable because it doesn't, you know, you're, you're not upgrading your class by any stretch of the imagination, you're just unlocking variety. Unlocking variety is totally cool with me. Okay, we're gonna back up. Wow. Keep missing. I guess I'm gonna... Wow, we're, we're not doing so well right now. Uh, I'll eat this and I'm going to take accuracy on that statue. Because <laughs> apparently we need it. Is this helmet better? I feel like it is. Yes, it is. Okay, let's, uh, let's take that and we'll drop this helmet. I like the music. It's got a vibe. Where, where did you go? Oh, there you are. Damn. So this is not the situation you really want to end up in. You definitely, as a ranger, do way more damage with ranged attacks. Of course that makes sense. But uh, you can sometimes find yourself in situations where it's hard to escape from them um, without taking a bunch of damage. Okay. Ooh, these gloves are really nice. All right, let's drop these gloves and we'll pick up this helmet, see if it's better. Plus three helmet. It's the same, but that's fine. We'll wear them anyway. Nice. Two shots. Two shots with the, uh, you know, a ranged hit versus like 20 with melee. One good freeze is all I need. I guess backing away is still worthwhile. Uh, more arrows spawned per battle, greater chance for monsters to drop loot, food provides greater healing. No, I like this uh, more arrows dealy. That sounds good. Sounds like the kind of move that should be exclusive to Ranger, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to hope that I freeze him. There we go. And then we're going to back away. And we stand a much better chance against him. Okay, um, there is a little bit left to explore, if I so wish, I guess I do, because I'm, I'm moving, aren't I? I think the most uh, recent take, or original take, on the dungeon crawler was Fight Night, and I really liked that game. That being said, it is a very different experience from this. Barely a dungeon crawler in a lot of ways, but, you know, it, it would still give that experience to you. I did not want to do that if you were looking for it. Wow, that guy took a lot of hits. Hope he gave me a lot of XP. Okay, we're gonna have to start dropping stuff because apparently I am encumbered. Drop that glove. Uh, don't drop the arrows. Why, why would you even consider that? Ugh. So once the trap is set, you uh, don't take damage from walking over it, which I appreciate that, honestly. It kind of cuts both ways, because, you know, like, um, if you accidentally stepped in it, you can't make 
the uh, an enemy step in it by accident. So it's not necessarily to your benefit, but I, I'd, I'd rather not have to walk around the trap every time. And honestly, the only you know, like it's the way you walk around makes it kind of easy to step in traps because I tend to double tap and I'm I'm just like a little bit impatient about moving. Not, I'm not blaming the game necessarily. I should just be patient, but like I'm not <laughs> straight up. So, um, let's eat an apple. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Nice. That knockback worked out well. Oh, nice. I didn't even see that trap, so that was that worked out well as well. Okay, so there, you know, there are a little bit of surprises in this game. Ugh. Uh, finding yourself in situations like that is certainly not the greatest. Not much you can do. If I back up, then he's just going to back up with me. Um, I don't, like, maybe if your agility gave you, a, like, a method of sprinting, there's some strategic you know, or tactical flavor there. Um, but, you know, in a situation like that, you don't really have much you can do. You just kind of, you know, a trade blows. Leather armor of resist poison. It would be nice to have some better leather armor. We're getting into these uh, higher tier weapon and armor sets, but I don't have enough money to afford them. Ooh, a new ring. That could be good. That did, that last blow took 11 health. Exactly. These guys are, are getting tougher. And he also didn't drop anything for my trouble, so. I suppose if I was taking the game super seriously, I would, um, like, wait every time I'm, like, out of battle. That's gonna make me hungrier anyway, so, like, I don't think it's actually worthwhile. Um, I have no idea what happens like when you start starving you probably start losing health so I don't know it's you know kind of half one uh, six one half a dozen the other uh, make you invisible could be worthwhile but it, I don't I'd rather increase the crit chance I already have some crit chance abilities so increasing the odds uh, would be preferable to just getting more abilities oh nice he's gonna walk right on that trap nice that was good there's the ladder still looking for some more money so I can buy some better armor we are starting to starve now yeah so I don't think that waiting uh, every like between combats to regenerate our health is necessarily the move because then we're just gonna have to, we're gonna end up eating the food for the food's sake and not for the healing's sake. We could, you know, basically solve both situations by just like waiting until we need to eat, you know, need to recover our health and then eat the food so that, uh, you know, that kind of, kind of covers both needs at once. And like I said, um, you know, if there was a maybe a quality of life feature that let you just rest until healed, that'd be kind of worthwhile. And then it would, I'd be more prone to trying that. So I straight up don't have even close to enough for any of this stuff. Uh, what do I need? Nothing really. I mean, like I need better armor. Uh, that was definitely what I needed. I, I really, I do wonder, is it seriously no way to sell? Like I was thinking maybe if I dropped an item near them, it would let me. I wonder. Wait a minute. 
No. I was thinking maybe it splits off. Yeah, there's 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 no um, there's no way to do it, which is fine. I guess in a way that would be overpowered to sell items, and the game would have to balance things out by not offering you as many items. Um, so you know, I get that, and uh, it would overall probably make things less interesting. So I got an achievement, the Forgotten Temple. Oh, we have red things now. These guys are tough. We are starting to get pretty hungry. Oh, new helmet. Resist poison. Nice. Yeah, let's let's wear that, and uh, maybe we can drink potions uh, now with semi-reckless abandon. Because uh, we would resist the poison. I, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Did I knock him, like, into the next room? See, like, there's no, there's no point in trying to like back up wow i knocked him back and he was able to move back in the same turn that seems unreasonable new soundtrack new enemies oh we have spell casters now luckily they have terrible aim Nice. No. There we go. All right. Ooh, new sword. All right. Let's let's make it happen. Well, I get, I'm pretty. Oh, maybe, maybe we won't make it happen. Maybe, we, maybe I'm gonna die instead. I'll eat. I'll eat some cheese. I'm gonna eat some cheese. Yo, why? Why are we missing four? We're we're like above this at this point. Eat some more cheese. Kind of wanna. Let's drink a potion. What is that potion for? Oh, good regeneration. Perfect. And we critted. And we froze them. Come on. There we go. There we go. Pick up all of our missed shots. And some more cheese. Oh no. What? Where'd they go? The way that enemies kind of wait around corners in this game is a little bit frustrating. Because I can't really do anything clever in this situation. Like, I would like to wait for them to approach me, but um, it's not really doable. Did he just step in a trap? Why is he waiting? Why is he waiting around the corner? <laughs> That's really frustrating. <laughs> like, I want to apply literally any strategy to this game, but like, Alright, I guess, I guess that's strategy. That is strategy, technically. Come on. Okay, we're gonna drink a potion. Uh, that is increased attack, which is nice. Potion of healing, let's, let's drink that. I can't trust that I won't die if I don't avoid their attacks. What's up? Wah. Wah. What's up? Hold on. There's a cat. Hello? What, what, what do you- what? Ah! Okay, fine. This is fine. Alright. Um, I guess- I guess attack, I don't really have a better idea of how to handle the situation. That was good. That was okay. Oh, you're still alive. Alright, there we go. 
These enemies really do be not dropping anything for my efforts. Which is a bummer. Okay. Let's just back up and then shoot from here. Missed. Okay. Um, see, the problem here... Oh, no, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm in exactly the right spot. I was going to say... Did he? Did I just push him back into a block? That was very strange. I just pushed him back into a wall. What is the point of knockback if they can, like, come back to me in the same turn? I, I question these things. Okay, what do we got? We got we got the um, greater chance for monsters to drop loot. That's kind of tempting. A potion's effects are much stronger. Guaranteed hit after a successful dodge. Um, kind of want better potions. Almost feel like that's like a little bit too little, too late, because I, I may have used up most of my potions by now. Oh, there's our uh, fountain. I'm gonna say let's go for more accuracy. I'm tired of missing. Okay. Nice. We're just gonna back up. He's waiting around the corner again. That is really, I'm sorry, that's really frustrating. I really don't like that. Cause like, I'm trying to apply some strategy by like backing up after doing the freezing attack and then them waiting around the corner just means that I have to then undo that. And I don't, I don't like that straight up. I don't know if that's on purpose. Maybe it's on purpose that they're doing that. In which case, you know, that maybe that's very clever AI. But seeing as this game doesn't really have a lot of um, tactical kind of uh, depth to it, it seems silly or foolish to, uh, you know, undo the little bit of tactics that there is with clever AI. But I, I'm assuming that it's it's just they have lost sight of me. I know it sound maybe it sounds like I'm ripping on the game pretty hard right now. That's not my intention. It's uh, I'm I'm trying to trying to voice my my frustrations. Um, all right, let's eat some more food. You are you are full. Okay. Frozen, frozen, nice. Okay, that was that was better. There's nothing over here. There is literally nothing over here. Okay, so I am continuing to explore this floor. Um kinda I kinda lost a little bit. Uh there's still a little bit left to explore in here. Is it worth it? Probably not. At this point, maybe avoiding combat would actually be a pretty good idea. Well, see, now I'm just going to go ahead and eat my words because there's no combat in this room and there's quite a lot of good stuff to collect. Maybe there are secrets in this game and I'm just not finding them. I'm willing to believe that, you know, sometimes secrets are so hidden, they remain secret. Is that anything? That's a plus three helmet? No, I have a plus four helmet of resist. We're gonna go ahead and drop, drop that. Ouch, that was a mistake. I guess the traps, you know, I mean, they are, even though they're super obvious, they still get me sometimes, so can't, can't be mad. nothing else in here. All right, we're going to continue downstairs. More coin. Uh, oh, I thought that was an enemy. Oh, what is that? What was that? Oh, that's a scroll. It, I don't know why. It looked like something different to me.
Okay, I'm gonna break this and then hope that the enemy saw me. They did not. Yeah, like knock knock back. If they can if they have the ability to come back right away, knockback seems functionally worthless. And remember, I have to hit a critical in order for knockback to even happen. So it seems kind of unfair that knockback should be functionally useless. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe like the idea is that I'm supposed to use it to push enemies into a trap, but it's already pretty easy to fool uh, enemies into walking into a trap, so I don't really think that that's the idea. Is that armor worth wearing? Yes it is. Wow, that's really good armor. We, that's also a really good short sword. That is a minotaur. Reason I walked them out here is so that hopefully I put them in a situation where I can back up. Okay, we're gonna use a uh, scroll of cure. That that didn't that didn't do anything. I was I thought that that would heal us, but it didn't. Okay, I'm gonna eat um, a turkey leg. Dodged. I'm I'm taking a lot of damage right now. In fact, I almost died just now. Okay, um, I might actually die here. This is not really what we wanted. Potion of healing, there we go. I don't know what this is, but um, maybe it's, I can see farther. Oh, I'm invisible. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was pretty good. That worked out well. Nothing in there. It's too bad I kind of wasted it, but I mean, it's gonna happen. You know, I've taken quite a lot of accuracy to still be missing. I know that it's probably re it's a it's probably a cross check. Like I'm probably it's my accuracy versus their dodge, and I did hit them a few times there. But still, m missing really does not feel good. Check these. Oh, these are very good gloves. They are very quite nice. Really quite nice. Drop some stuff. We're getting some good loot. Oh, I like these lads. These lads are decent enough that they see me from far away and then are willing to kind of meet me halfway. And that way I can shoot them. So I appreciate those those lads. They're, they're doing the Lord's work, honestly. This might be a really good bow for us. Plus five short bow of burning. Two-handed weapon. I think that is better. That is much better. I'm gonna miss freezing, but burning sounds just as good. And what I think might be, oh, plus six gloves of accuracy is better than plus six gloves. Amazing. Uh, what I think might be better about burning is um, since I don't seem to be able to pull off this whole like freeze them and then back up strategy um you know set them on fire and then back up sounds a lot more promising in in a way um i just get the general impression that the the effect of burning will be more likely to function overall than freezing because there's they're still going to take that damage regardless of whether or not i was able to back up properly um, I don't know where I'm going. I'm trying to f navigate to that last unopened door. Just in case it's it's a good in. You know, there, there's some, some of these rooms are worth exploring. Oh, so you can push enemies through walls. I feel like that is just straight up a bug. But yeah, he's on fire. So the idea there is just back up. Yeah, that's actually really nice. That's way better than the freezing because they take quite a bit of damage 
And it seems to happen more, like it's more likely to happen than the freezing. Our dude is hungry. Um, so we're gonna wanna eat some food pretty soon. And we're also kind of damaged. I wonder what happened to that Minotaur. They're just gone. Okay, let's let's head down to the next floor. No, I was wondering if we got get a little bit of recovery between floors. What was the deal with that scroll? Oh, scroll of identify. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna use that in the hopes that it identifies everything else. So we have potion of poison, invisibility, and strength. I'm gonna eat some cheese. We have 64 arrows. Amazing. Uh, I'm gonna drop this plus six short bow since I, or sorry, short sword since I have a plus six short sword of freezing. I'm not gonna use either, but you know, may as well. So yeah, that's the second time I've knocked someone through a wall. I guess um, missing is a problem because you can't apply the burning. But yeah, that just like, that works out so much better. It's a lot of extra damage I'm doing. Come on out here, buddy. Yeah, that's, you got really, you got the short end of the stick on that one. Got knocked through a wall behind an, like, unavoidable trap. That's just like, really a bummer for that dude. Kinda, I was like tempted to like, fire into the darkness there. Ooh. Just gotta check. Oh, second time we didn't, second or third time we didn't apply burning, okay. Level up, um, shop prices are reduced, guaranteed hit after a successful dodge. Yeah, let's get uh, more chance to get stuff from monsters because we really have not been getting anything from monsters for a while. Nice, that was a good set there. I uh, oh oh that was that's unfortunate. Um, dodged. Nice. The knockback, okay, the knockback is actually functioning now. This guy has got a lot of health. I'm gonna have to use a potion of healing. The knockback is actually functioning because it basically, um, it delays them a turn. I can do this. To, to delay them. Yeah, it basically delays them a turn. They're not allowed to attack for a turn. So, okay, I, I understand. It, it is actually better. Um, what was this? Ring of Accuracy. This seems like it could be a better Ring of Accuracy. I don't know. They might be exactly the same. I think they are the same. We got a buckler. I don't think I can wear that. No, can't wear it. I'll keep it just um, just in case, you never know. I don't really want to drop my plus three hunter's bow. I'll drop the um, dagger though. So we still have a bunch, a lot of floor left. I'm kind of running out of stuff, like supplies. So I don't know if it's a great idea to continue the dungeon. No. Still not getting stuff from monsters. Like, very rarely will I get a thing. So the idea here, I should back up whenever I can. And the, the more space between you and the monster um, is better. It gives you more opportunities to attack before they get to you. So in a position like that, you're going to want to be as far away as possible. Okay, we need to start thinking about our health. I'm starting to wonder if this is actually better than the bow of freezing, because I think I am blowing through my consumables a little bit quicker since I am uh, taking damage more often. Plus five boots, is this any better? 
Is it better than plus one boots of accuracy? I don't know. I think so. It's going to offer me a bit more protection, I think. Wait. So, okay, there's something over here that I didn't... Oh. That is a minotaur. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. The bow of freezing at least gave me a bit more opportunities against these guys. Well, I seem to be doing okay. As long as I keep dodging their attacks. Still not getting much items from it, monsters. Like, I don't know about taking a skill that has a chance-based effect that doesn't happen very often. Oh my god. That just feels absolutely the worst. I might stop worrying about optimizing this whole burning effect and just just try and hurt them. Not sure. Oh, there's a ring. Could do with a shop, honestly. And our dude is hungry again, and we're pretty pretty low on health. Ooh, new gloves. Only plus six gloves. Not not as good as what we've got. New bow. Um, just a plus six hunter's bow. Technically better, but nah, I don't, I, I think the burning is still better. Boots, plus six boots again, not, not better. None of this is better. <laughs> At least we have some money. How much money do I have? 20. So next time I find a shop, should be, should be worthwhile. Did I already try these gloves? I did. Should be pretty good. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Okay, so we're heading downstairs. I have a funny feeling it'll be a new type of floor. Again, a lot to expect from a game for $5, but it might be nice to break up some of these dungeons with, like, maybe a boss or something um, that is just, like, a little bit more of a, a different kind of challenge. Maybe a puzzle? I know that's, again, I know that's asking a lot. Um... But, uh, you know, I'm kind of doing a lot right now of the same. The Ranger, did I, did I just beat the game? Sword of Luna recovered. I think I just beat the game. Light restored. Ignore that again. I had to stop quite a lot in order to <laughs> stop and, and continue a lot. Um, but hey, I, I defeated exactly the correct number of monsters. And uh, depth reached nine, so there you have it. Um, so I did I did a lot of criticizing for this, and I hope it didn't really come across as bashing. Um, I do like this game. I think a lot of what I'm thinking still stands. Like I, I'd, I'd like to see a, maybe a little bit more variety. Not a lot, really. Just like maybe have secrets, um, couple quality of life features, and maybe a bit more. Um, tactical depth don't necessarily need to have a lot of strategy but um just a little bit because right now it's it's feeling very very simple um and you know i think that uh i think it's worth playing in fact i you know i'd re go ahead and recommend like grabbing it because it is it's fun i think uh, for for the select few uh who have a steam deck this would be a really fun thing to play on the deck just a little casual kind of dungeon crawler but um, yeah, I, I, I do think that, you know, if it, it, as long as it is in early access, it would do with a couple of updates. Um, and I know that's really a lot to ask from a $5 game. I, honestly, if this game was not in early access and it just cost, it cost $5 and it was, that, that was it, then I would say, you know what, that's fine. Um, it is what it is. It's, it's a simple game. I'm not, I'm not really asking a lot, but as long as it has that moniker of being in early access, then, um, you know, my above mentioned criticisms are, are there, or at least, uh, uh, you know, requests, consider them requests. 
But either way, I do like this game. I love, I like the look of it, and I, I think that it has a lot of uh, promise to be um, an interesting and, you know, valid entry in the dungeon crawler genre. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.